All right, you guys, so we got information pertaining to Super Dragon Ball Heroes episode 39. We had a title as well as what we can possibly see in this next coming episode. So if you're brand new, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and turn on those post notifications. That way you can be reminded every time I upload a new video. With that being said, the title to the next episode, which is Super Dragon Ball Heroes episode 39, is called The Menacing Few Awaits, Birth of the Miraculous Strongest Duo. Now that title, The Menacing Few Awaits. Now we've seen at the end of episode 38, a younger few staring at Goku as he was taking a look at the universe tree. There are a lot of unanswered questions like, why is Few young again? What happened to the adult version of Few that was fighting Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Vegito? More questions that I have is, why is he young? More importantly, why does he have a wing on the right side of his body? Initially, I thought it was the bird on his back. You know, the opposite version of Toki Toki. I think it's Doki Doki. As far as the release information of episode 39, there is no confirmed date yet. So if you see other YouTubers saying that, hey, Super Dragon Ball Heroes episode 39 release date, it's fake. We didn't get an episode in August because Super Dragon Ball Heroes wanted to stay on track. This Big Bang mission is supposed to end in February and a new mission is supposed to start in March. So by them skipping August, it was able to close that window and leave us without a gap at the end of this particular mission. So what I'm basically saying is we should get this episode this coming month, which would be October. Now let's talk about the second part of that title, Birth of a Miraculous Strongest Duo. Let's think about it. We didn't already seen Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. We just seen Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Gogeta or whatever you want to call it. Because I don't really think it's Blue Evolution like that. Gogeta already defused in episode 38. In the real universe, we already seen Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Vegito. Composed of Zeno Goku as well as Zeno Vegeta. The only other fusion that we haven't seen is a Gogeta comprised of the Zeno Warriors. So we're going to be seeing Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. The cards have already come out. Pretty sure he's going to hit some type of Limit Breaker form as well. We have not seen a Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Gogeta. So leave a like and drop a comment if you're excited to see Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta again. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that there are three versions of Super Dragon Ball Heroes. We have the manga adaption, which I cover. We have the anime, promotional anime adaption, which I also cover. Then we also have the arcade game, which is really the original. And all three of those variations are different. Like different things happen and the more slight differences here and there. Well, the arcade mission in Japan started today. As you can see on your screen, this is the arcade mission and the machine that's actually in Japan at this moment. If I was there, I would play it for the one time, but I can't really see myself playing a card game like that. I'm not going to even lie to you guys. Now in this arcade mission, all the fights that we've seen in the promotional anime episode 38 happened in the arcade. But things that we have not seen was Goku Black actually summoning a King of Destruction Broly to fight against the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Broly. Yeah, I know, we didn't even see Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Broly in the promotional anime episode 38. That's because they only running it for eight minutes. They can't fit all that in there. But in this opening that you're seeing on your screen now, you can see that Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Broly was actually there. Just didn't see it in the actual promotional anime. Oh, and by the way, you guys, King of Destruction is another word for margin because they refer to Omega Shinron who actually appeared in the promotional anime as King of Destruction Omega. Yeah, apparently Goku Black is just summoning warriors out of thin ice because he summoned Omega Shinron and he summoned a version of Broly. I remember that this is the arcade game and that the promotional anime is based and specifically made for the arcade game to get people to go to the arcade game. And this arcade mission just started today, so we'll get dialogue a little bit later. I'll make another video actually covering what they're actually saying to each other. But as far as I know, Capsule Court version of Goku did not know who Omega Shinron is. If you've seen the English subs of the episode, episode 38, then you'll know when Omega Shinron was summoned, Goku said, who's that? And it makes sense because he shouldn't know who Omega Shinron is. The Xeno version of Goku and Vegeta should know who Omega Shinron is. Also in the promotional anime, when Hearts appear and actually talk to Goku, he's telling them that he read Omega Shinron's mind and noticed that he did fight a version of Goku from a different timeline. 
I was very curious to find out what the warrior in black said at the beginning of this episode because by now you should already know that this is some version of Bada. Apparently he was amazed by Super Saiyan 3 Rose Goku Black's power. He's saying that he'll leave him to Kakarot and Vegeta. That he has other things to attend to. I'm pretty sure those other things that he had to do was to actually gather those Dragon Balls because at the end he had all seven Dragon Balls. When he showed up with those Dragon Balls, all he said, let's leave. But this guy really has no interaction with Goku at all. Not even Zeno version of Goku acts this seriously, bruh. It's Barda, look at his eyes. I haven't seen this dude relax his eyebrows since I seen the, war the Hooded Warrior. Another thing I wanted to mention was at the beginning, Goku Black's mask was already on his last leg. Before he went into his full power, he seen the beginning to crack, but he said this mask power is, but that's when Goku interrupted him by punching him. He did make a statement after he went into his full power and he says my body has surpassed the original's powers. I'm guessing he's talking about the original version of himself? I don't know, that part really still kind of confused me. I thought Frieza's reaction to Gogeta's power was pretty interesting. He says he's still yet evolving. And for those ones questioning why Gogeta actually used a different form even though he was beating on Goku Black at first. Gogeta used that power because of Goku Black's regeneration. After Gogeta gave him that ultimate willing, he stated my generation can't keep up with the damage. Now, if I was Goku Black and I was in that situation, I had a time ring on my finger. Yeah, Gogeta is beating me up. He's immortal. Yeah, I shouldn't be losing. I'm a god type thing that he's on, right? He should have just escaped and gave himself time to even acquire more power. He still had pieces of the mask on him, so he was still going to keep growing in power. I mean, dude even grew a tail. Like, he was so close to Super Saiyan 4, it was literally right around the corner. Now, at the end of the episode, Goku is talking. He says, hmm, is that for you? Seems like he turned himself into a kid, huh? What a tremendous key. It gives me goosebumps. And that's when he mentions the title for the next episode, which is going to have something to do with Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4, the Limit Breaker version, probably. So y'all let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Let me know, did you enjoy episode 38? Besides the beginning, I really did enjoy episode 38 because we got to see Goku Black use a different form. The animation at the end of the episode was pretty good, but it wasn't a too bad episode at all. Let me know your answers to those questions in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video.